Hey, what's up, guys? Wow. <laughs> I had to kind of reschedule my show because it uh, turns out there was some conflict with the Tim Maso stuff. Didn't want to, uh, you know, interfere. But what a disaster. What a disaster. see something oh it's not working oh. okay well was oh, I was hoping huh okay what let's see who do we have who do we have on tonight got our good friend se welcome to the show Ryan Singer, Marco, Casey, which is, who's now known as Loom Hands. I don't know. Should I call him Loom Hands or Casey from now on? Uh, no idea. No idea. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, Cooler Fiend. Hello, everybody. Um, Raj G. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tim, my man. Guys, remember to upvote and subscribe. That's right. If you are watching the show, you're enjoying it, make sure to upvote. It really, really helps out. And also consider becoming a member. A member. Now, a couple of, couple of hours, uh, I'm going to open up the Discord. That's right, guys. I've got this Discord thing. It's all set up. I mean, it's in beta phase. But now, whereas WhatsApp was limited to only people at the $10 level, uh, everyone who is a member will be eligible to join the new uh, Discord. And I have everything sorted out over there. It's so freaking amazing. If you want uh, to get the access before it's publicly, publicly available for, for the members, Please email me at timwrightcom at gmail.com. You're not going to regret it. It's so cool. It's so cool. And I'm doing major upgrades to it. So, yeah. Uh, let me just drop the link if anybody wants to join me. Uh, there we go. Okay. 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 The more... The more time passes, the more I really want to get the two-tone. See, Red Shovel says, yo, Discord as WhatsApp is harder to follow than Bolt doing 200-meter <laughs> sprint. WhatsApp was so crazy today in the morning. I think I woke up to 800 messages. God damn. 800 messages. The show, if you are enjoying these type of shows, uh, the WhatsApp... The show goes on 24-7, so check it out, guys. Night Wrist Watchman upvoted. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's talk watches. Let's talk watches. Uh, Cooler Fiend asked me uh, to take a look at... Wait, did I post the link? Oh, yes, yes, I did. Cooler Fiend asked me to take a look at the Zenith because... Uh, Zenith, actually, like I don't know what is what is Zenith doing it with their Defy line. I, I, cause I kind of, I kind of like the Defy, uh, but they're going, in, they're making them really expensive, and I'm not a big fan of super expensive Defy watches. Uh, so let's see, let's see Defy. Like if they keep it under seven thousand retail, that would be so cool, cause. They're actually very unique. They, Zenith started making these Defy watches very early. They're kind of... This is their unique watch. So I don't understand why they have to make a clone, kind of a homage to a Daytona, if they can just improve on the existing line that they have. Like, why can't they take these watches and make them better? It just makes no sense. Defy Classic. Oh, my God, I actually really like this watch. Uh, 
And what's the price for it skeletonized? Because uh, retail, it's like 7400 But I think on Chrono, let's see. What's the price on Chrono? Because they tank. They sink like a stone. Zenith. Defy. Classic. Let's see. Oh my God, four thousand, low to high. Let's see, four thousand five hundred. That's that's literally this is tutor prices, tutor prices for a very versatile watch. Leather strap underneath. Oh no, so it's got rubber and leather kind of combination. And I believe, oh yeah, it's a, uh, you can change the bracelet. Oh, it's titanium as well. So you got a titanium watch at the, oh, dude, look at this. They even have them for 4,200. This is in US. New, new box and papers, 4,200. Are you kidding me? Wow, wow, cooler feet. Oh, and we got Casey. Hey, Casey, how's it going? Hey, evening, Tim. How are you? Hey, um, uh, you know, I, I went to like the day is moving so fast. I was gonna go hiking, but because <laughs> of I spent all that time trying to set up uh, the Discord, I just kind of lost track of time. It was just impossible. impossible. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I saw you still up right late into the night. <laughs> yeah, I was just still kind of researching stuff, how to make it better, and uh, hey, great job, man! Yeah, uh, I love yeah. the site. Yeah. Mm, mm. So, and actually, I I already submitted it to YouTube mm -hmm. to make the link available ah, cool. to all the members, like Ooh. at the four dollar per per month level. Awesome, so they just awesome. have to. Yeah, it takes about a couple of. Sometimes it takes a couple of hours. Uh, sometimes, uh, let's see, oh, okay, so unfortunately, it takes a couple of, like, they say to up to 24 hours to have those approved, the changes mm. that I, that I made, mm. so, uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to just through email, get people into, into the new, so guys, if you're a member, and you want to join the new Discord channel, uh, the new Discord server, server, uh, then uh, email me. And uh, Casey will guys, help you out <laughs> if you have any questions. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, he's thanks. an expert. <laughs> thanks, Tim. <laughs> Put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Uh, yeah, I think, I think most of the guys here has been playing around Discord as well. So they, are, they should be pretty well versed too. Yeah, yeah, but anytime, man. Yeah, just just pop on in, and we'll be glad to help you out. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, we got Marco in the chat. Fuck, I'm in bed, lazy as fuck. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. This today was so quick. You don't understand. The day flew by. Just I went to, uh, woke up, got coffee, went to the post office. And then I stepped by one client's house, and then I came back, and it's already time. Like, can you believe? Like, time moves so fast. Well, probably because I woke up at twelve a.m. or <laughs> or is it p.m.? Just mid p.m. p.m. Oh my god, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Uh, Marcus says F.B. Jordan made a minute repeater, and as to Tony Nicker pointed out in the WhatsApp, it's copying Ming. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. So Tony shared a pic of that. <laughs> Jeez, hey Marco, is this true? What is happening? Yeah, it's an FP Ming. FP Ming. FP Ming. F Ping. F Ping. <laughs> oh my God! Look, I like sometimes up. because we are so uh, set on the idea um just like the like watch expertise we forget that sometimes it's not so much the watch it's the the brand the brand name it's the brand name that uh kind of that sells the watch 
You know, mm. people, like, for example, when people wear that Hermes belt with an H, that belt is in no way better than any other belt. But because it's got that H, it's all the name, it's the brand, the brand. Yeah, the brand. It's just human psychology. We are so kind of wired to uh, be activated by the brand name that we we look past. We can look past all types of flaws as long as the brand name makes us feel good. Mm. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's see here what what you got here. Who? Clear dial. What is that clear dial? Plus, it's got the laser etched. It looks like it has the laser etched uh, numerals. Dude. Might be painted. They might be painted. But wow, <laughs> FP Ming. FP on... Ming. It, even oh, the curvature on the lux, right? It looks like it as well. Mm. Right, but let's be honest. Ming kind of stole that. If we're being honest with one. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Watches 24. Tim, when do you expect the two tone Explorer one? Somewhere end of May. End of May, guys. By the way, Tim. Yeah. Can we uh can we talk about how I got fleeced this morning? I got wait, totally wait. fleeced by the customs department. Oh yeah? What was the <laughs> how much did they how, how much did they charge you? Twenty three hundred and seventy one dollars and thirty. That's the cents. price of a Ming. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> They that took your me. Ming away guys, from you. Guys, I'm Canadian not... dollars? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Canadian dollars. Wow. Damn. Yeah, guys, I uh, I actually lied. My birthday is next week, so uh, we're going to be holding a special <laughs> birthday. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. And Oh, oh. Night <laughs> Wrist Watchman became a story editor. Night Wrist Watchman, welcome to the backstage thank you so much Woo! <laughs> oh yeah i forgot that sorry yeah yeah oh very cool <laughs> look at this um uh yeah you can actually access the whatsapp group now in the just click the button on the whatsapp group and uh the the discord is gonna be ready soon and we got oh, tony we go. nico tony's the one who showed us all of this look at this tony F yeah. ming tony is deep in, into into fp joins and mings because uh, he might be a little bit ahead of the curve. I know we don't get it, but we got Lolex, please. Hey, Lolex. What's going on, boys? What's up, hey. Lolex? You, you have actual furniture behind you now? What's going on? Yeah, bro. Come, come mess with me. Come mess with me. <laughs> come mess with me. First piece. I like the chair. I need to upgrade my chair. My chair is so uncomfortable. Now, honestly. did you get that with the box and papers? Oh, wait, or... never mind. No. This is a Craigslist <laughs> chair. This is a Craigslist chair. There's no neck support. What do you... Oh yeah, I don't. No know. back support. No, man. Isn't it break your back? No, I'm, I do want to get one of those cool streamer chairs. The ones right, that right. Like, the DX like, racers or whatever they're called. Yeah, hell yeah, mm -hmm. I want to get one of those. So it's oh, like, you, need, what, you need one like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly the one. Exactly. I, I need some stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. actually. You know, I bought my chair without the neck rest. Big mistake. Now I have to mm. go out and get a, like a like a third party neck rest. It's annoying, and it's like a hundred fifty dollars. I'm not buying it right now. I ha I have to buy the two tone, the two tone. I'm laser focused on two tone guys. Mm -hmm. Not spending money on anything. I just talked to one of my um, one of my ads today, and he mm. said that they have some Explorer thirty sixes in right now. <gasps> Oh, or, or no, I don't ready? No, I don't think he said he already has them uh, in, but he's uh, uh, gonna have them in. So he asked me if I would be interested in one. And I was like, no, thank you. It's <laughs> like, Damn. no, I'm good, thanks. Mm, are you sure? What do you mean? That I'm not, that, <laughs> that I don't Dude, want maybe it. it's your destiny. You know how how you got the what's it called? The speedmaster, because yeah. it was like brought you back to the old the good old days. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting an Explorer One is gonna take you back to the good old day, like even even better good old days. No thanks, hard <laughs> pass. Hard pass. No, but oh, he did tell me on the phone. He was like, "I don't even have any forty-one mil Datejust in right now." Mm -hmm. He's like, "I don't have any of those in right now." I was like, "Damn, really?" Wow. This is like just a month ago. My ads yeah. were calling me about the forty-ones. They were. I have photos in my phone. They were like, "I have this. I have this. I have this." 
So it's crazy. Now, now those are getting hard to get too. Damn. Mm -hmm. Well, what are we looking at, Marco? Oh, what? 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 They changed their their polishing technique. No, this is just different finishing. Different. One is yeah, frosted, and one is the uh, Geneva waves. Oh, dude, look at that! I actually like the frosted one. Yeah, I, I mean, know. you can. not I think they're both really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, definitely the Geneva ways, which you, is pretty traditional. Class. Yeah, yeah, traditional versus something that looks very modern. You want to see a cool? Here's a cool case back. Look at this. I've shown this before. You guys called this a shitter. Mm. Look at this. You want to see some beautiful frost? Look at that movement. Isn't it wonky? It's very wonky. This is gorgeous. It's a grown fellow rumador. But guys, I gotta be Ooh. honest with you. You know what I've been yeah. looking at? The Paddock fifty three twenty. Ever since Brian said that he bought, it, I was like, oh, what do I gotta do to get one of those? Oh. Now, I don't know. How do you even? How does one even go about getting these uh, FP joints? It's just, yes. just, just, just go to go, Watchbox guys. and pay over crazy oh. amount of retail. Right. Is that, is that, it? Is that the trick? Yeah. yeah. Well, you can do that, or you can just get on a wait list. Mm. You have to start with their entry level models, like. FP Jorn, Havana Dial, Chronomet Souverain, or maybe an Octoloon. Something that's not as desirable. And then you have to yeah. pay up front and you yeah. have to wait one year. Oh, yeah. The pay up front. The pay right. up front trick. I, I, look, I, I'm telling you, I think the only reason uh, FP Jorn is doing this pay up front uh, trick right now is so that they can invest into all these stocks that completely crashed and double their <laughs> profits. To be honest. <laughs> No, why, I, it's to weed out the flippers one? mostly. It's to weed out the flippers. <laughs> no, but you is is it really beating? Oh, uh, but you can take it a month up front. It doesn't have to be a whole year up front. I mean, a month isn't that long a wait, right? Somebody puts a deposit on a chronometer blue, they're gonna like quadruple their money, right? It's like to wait one month for it is nothing, you know. That's why you have to buy many of them. You have to pay up front for a lesser kind of desirable model. Mm. But yeah, craziness. ROH, review Brian BK's collection, please. I'm sure it's sick. Actually, I don't I don't have an image of his whole collection. It's, it's probably massive. I know I, he sent us just the, the... I just have his four Daytonas. It's, it's his insane. four Daytonas? Yeah, he has four Daytonas, right? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I thought he and, just had the gold one with the green dial. No, no, he's got four. I had that amazing shot where he just, yeah, he. I I thought he was like a Daytona collector, but then it turns out that he just has more than just Daytona. You know, right here. Let me just show you this Daytona money shot. Uh, oh, look at this. Bam. It's got the yin and the yang. I don't think this is Brian BK, is it? Brian BK. No, we 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 put this up a while ago. These aren't yeah. his watches. Oh, Barry BKT also. Yes, yeah, Barry BKT. Yeah, yeah, it's different. <laughs> different. Very similar names. I mean, people use similar names. It confuses me. But uh, yeah, this is another FP. Show. Wow. Yeah, this is a black label. The black. resonance. <laughs> the black label. This is insane. And you know who's getting this, right? Or I don't know if I should reveal it because I don't know if he wants mm. us to reveal it. Oh. But it's our good friend. Oh. The one that I am super jealous of. Oh. Mm. He has the most <laughs> insane watch collection ever. Mm. But yeah. Somebody's asking me about the Urban Jurgensen Alfred. This was made with Kerry Budalainen. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Urban Jurgensen, you can have these for like such a ridiculous discount. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Federico is selling them for like an insane like forty or fifty percent off, and like look at this movement; yeah. it's just beautiful. I like how they did the, the you know the strike. Yeah, it's like a sunray. Yeah, yeah, sun, yeah sunburst. It's probably hard to do. Like very hard. Yeah, this stuff yeah. is. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the case is you can tell it's Voodoo just by the lugs. Mm. You see and those hour lugs? hand. That's pretty cool. Right, that's distinct from him too. Mm. Looks like magnifying glass, right? This <laughs> the hour hand. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> this is it's, Sherlock um, Holmes approved. Yeah, yeah, that's right, We've got yeah. a mystery on ourselves. <laughs> it reminds me kind of of the paddock world time hands, right? Mm. 
Because they had similar hands to that. Hmm. Hmm. So what were you talking about earlier on in the show, Tim, about the Zenith's? Before we got sidetracked. Oh yes, the best Royal Oak <laughs> alternatives, right? Hey Tim, you messing you messing with my YouTube notifications too? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yesterday. Delete, delete, oh, yesterday. Delete. Oh my god. You guys, <laughs> if you haven't been on yesterday's WhatsApp group, you're missing out. <laughs> you're missing out. We had like there hasn't been so much fun in a while. Hello, Conrad. How's it going? Hey, why aren't you guys live? Why are we live? No, why aren't you? Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, my God, man. you scared the hell out of me. You almost gave me a heart attack, you understand? I was there, I was like, what the Oh, oh <laughs> my God. Yo. Oh, my God. I, I understand. It makes even no sense oh that how we wouldn't be live. Because <laughs> we got the, the chat going, answering the chats. But when you said it, it's like, oh, what? <laughs> that was a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're like here for 22 minutes and it's not even live. <laughs> Ugh, okay. amateur. Hey, look, we're we're loving these mings. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, what what's the what's the IRS equivalent over there, Marco, in Canada? Oh, it's uh, the CRA, Canada the Revenue C Agency. The CRA oh. took uh, took Bottom his main basically away from him. <laughs> yeah, that's how yeah, much they charge. Unbelievable, twenty three hundred yeah. bucks. Fuck me, dead expensive. So, so when, are when are you getting it? Probably tomorrow. Probably right. tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. Unboxing. Let me look at this. I don't think that it's been like cleared by custom. So mm -hmm. yeah, probably most likely tomorrow. Mm. And they ship Mr. Two his golf balls, his balls, nah. uh, <laughs> returning his balls. Uh, uh, so we'll, we'll see if he's going to get charged something. That's uh, th that, that'll, that'll be weird because. Oh, uh, drop the link. Ooh, Captain Steven, is on. Steven, Steven, the Captain. Captain O'Leary. Wow. Yeah, it says clearance processing complete, boys. So it looks like tomorrow. Oh, nice. Oh! Uh, I, nice. wow. I have an exam on Wednesday and I have not studied one bit for it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing until late, late, late tonight. What is this? Uh, bring up the new day date. Eisen <laughs> Kiesel dial. <laughs> day date's got some revamps on the dials, guys, by the way. Oh, interesting. Oh, I think maybe he's talking about the stone. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The stone. The stone. There's you got super stone. chat. Ooh, S E. 10 you're alive 10 bucks to the to reduce the blood pressure <laughs> let's get these super chats going by the way just want to give a shout out to huh. drew our guy drew drew oh, sent me is... money via paypal what a guy what a kid what? what's that you oh. didn't have to do that what a dude you didn't have to do that drew i don't know if he's watching uh, i sent him a message awesome. on whatsapp wow but, yeah cool kid man unbelievable i mean i wow. call him a kid he's the same age as me <laughs> What a guy. We love wow. our Drew. So check this dial out. Now, I, I spoke with the AD about this. They said that it's some kind of a very unique stone. And what what those lines are, it's that's the iron going through the huh. stone. It's got like iron huh. deposits that they got there. They got some, I don't know, some secret deal. Now... The only, for me, the only problem with this dial is the diamond uh, indice, which the AD told me it's only going to come with diamonds. There's going to be no just regular uh, indices, just the diamonds. Mm. Yeah. Is it going to come with the diamond bezel also? Only no, the diamond no, no, bezel? no, 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 no okay, diamond so bezel. You have... Yeah. You can have just fluted shoes. bezel. Right, mm -hmm. it only shows diamond puzzle, which oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, because I don't, I like this actually. This is really nice, Sheesh. and it's really cool because each dial completely it's unique, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a bespoke yes. dial, exactly. yes, the marbling effect here, yeah. mm -hmm. very nice. And they cut it out, 
uh, they kind of they slice this material, right? And then they pick out the section uh, to make it look the best. Oh, there you go. You can see it with uh, with full diamond indices, and you can see it right away two different types of dials right. with that same kind of effect. Well, it's and like they- meteorite dials, right? No meteorite dials, the same. Exactly. Oh, watch is 24, 10 bucks. Tim, have a spray of Creed. <laughs> Thank you. I will. This is Aventus. Aventus. See, I have it in a travel size because uh, I'm giving my uh, bottle to showcase watches. Showcase watches. Four sprays because it's travel size. The spray is a little bit smaller. You go. Oh, it smells so oh, we got Mr. GMT. We got Mr. GMT. Boys, Discord is amazing. We got our man Toyota Mo. Hello, Captain. You're live. Hey, What's Captain. What's going on, Captain O'Leary? <laughs> <laughs> Today it's just the Captain, man. Today is the oh, Captain. Wow. O'Leary has been dropped for t- for today. Oh, okay. It's okay. it's message message what this message was deleted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean you have to be careful. Uh, you know you don't want uh, all kinds of vicious fikers coming after you, uh, Mister Kevin O'Leary. Yep. <laughs> this message Ooh. was deleted. This. <laughs> Look at this. We got showcase. Rolex are the only company I know who can get away with charging more for imperfections on the dial. LOL. My business is selling stone and we couldn't sell it with those veins running through. LOL. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's art. It's art. It's art. See, you can't just sell stone with the, with the imperfections. You have to use the imperfection. And you, if you look at that dial, you can see how they positioned those uh, kind of uh, those lines to run around the hands and through the Rolex crown. Especially, you see the Marco. Can you make that bigger? That picture bigger? Yeah, sure, sure. Look how how they positioned. Oh my God! You see that? It looks like a lightning bolt striking through. Like around the hands and into the crown. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. And you you can see why they put that that specific one onto with the diamond uh, Ro- Romans, and just regular uh, baguettes has a more simpler uh, more simpler one. We got Grand Seiko. Rolex is excess leather strap because of sights. Wait, what is what 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 is Xing. Xing le- Oh, Xing leather straps because of what is sight? The it's all like regulations for protection of like animal type animals. Of things. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Are you wow. serious? Beta. <laughs> hey, hey, you know a lot of the what's it called? Uh, should, a, should I get the of... vegan phosphorus roll? Right, exactly. No. What is that nonsense? Mm. Not. I... Isn't there Sorry, like Tim. some brand? <laughs> Who, like I think oh uh, Piaget you know if you go to Piaget right and you buy if like, you check their gold right they say that oh our gold it's comes mine. from like organic farms and they're mm-hmm. not we're not taking because there's like a lot of like slave camps slave, in Africa right. where they're extracting gold so mm-hmm. they're saying like we're not buying gold from just anyone we're only getting gold from reputable dealers right it's very interesting that's uh, like so diamonds. Guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Conflict Blood diamonds. diamonds yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure that uh, mm. Rolex and and any other reputable company aren't mm-hmm. going to use uh, conflict diamonds. Mm-hmm. Hey, mm-hmm. Tim, pull up the link in the private chat. I got it pulled up already. If you want. All right. Oh. Looks cool, right? Ooh. Whoa! Is, wow. Is, okay. Cool. Oh, and look at this. It's on the marble stone on the marble table with a marble dial. Hmm. Damn. Wow. Sheesh, that's impressive. Sheesh. Yeah. Well, marble, I, I missed the earlier part of what you guys were discussing, but mm-hmm. marble and, and, a, and the stone dial, I guess you were mm-hmm. talking about the stone dial, any other stone, 
is by its nature, it's not the same. It's imperfect. It's yes. perfectly imperfect. Imperfect, yes. See, Tim, we agree on more than we the disagree perfection on. in chaos. <laughs> wow. Tony says, chocolate marble looks like the tiles in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can take a shower with your gold day date. You get the... <laughs> Frank Gerard, when are people going to realize that any Rolex other than stainless steel is not going to make it after the bubble pops? But uh, you know what? Here's here's what I think, actually. Frank, 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 check this out. I think they will. And I think they will because Rolex actually doesn't make a lot of gold, like full gold watches. They're so limited. Uh, just a lot of people didn't buy them. Like people who could afford gold, full gold Rolex, didn't buy gold, full gold Rolex because like that, they used to lose a lot of value. Like you, you would buy a gold Daytona for 35, 36,000, and then it would the resale value of it was, would drop to 20,000. It's like unbelievable. It's half the price is gone. So, because everybody was just so afraid to buy roll, uh, gold pieces uh, that even though the, the supply was limited, nobody was buying them because of that secondary resale wa value. But now that the secondary resale value uh, has increased, a lot of people have faith in full gold Rolex watches. But, so, I think... <clears throat> hmm? Go ahead, Tim. So, so I know I'm just saying. I think uh, now that more people are confident in Rolex gold, it will not go down. I think this is the this is going to be the new normal. If right, if anything, if anything, you would you would think that. Wait a minute, these steel pieces they're more affordable. There's more of them out there. They shouldn't be going over retail. It's the gold pieces that should be more valuable. Like in like if you are a normal human being, that's what you would expect. Like if if you ask somebody who who's not into watches about this kind of over retail thing, people would say, "Well, obviously gold would be more expensive. It would be more desirable." But because we live in this psychology reverse universe, that's why. But I think it actually like Rolex will flip the desert the desirability. Well, also I I agree with that, Tim. I think Toyota brings up a good point, saying who. Who knows if we're in a bubble? Maybe this is just a new normal. I agree with that. And also, gold is a good hedge against currency fluctuations. So mm -hmm. rather than buying gold bullion, why not just buy a gold day date? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> if I, you know, wow. the, the amount of gold, and I, gold. I agree with it. I always like that trade, especially yeah. if you got in five years ago, because the gold price, you know, has gone up as the money supply mm -hmm. has increased. But I don't want to get into M1 and M2 economics. But, right, right, right. you know, and this the velocity an and inflation, exactly. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but over time, the gold price goes up. So five years, 10 years, 20 years, you see, a, you know, a gradual upslope. The um, one thing. So it's it's I, I think it's a nice hedge. It's a nice it exactly. creates like a floor. But the amount of gold and ounces is going to be far you know, less than of course. The, the price of a watch. Right. Bullion is still definitely the better investment because you get more gold for the money, right? Because yes. you are paying slightly for, uh, well, yes. slightly. You're paying part, in, in in large part, for the movement, for the brand, what have you. Yep, um, yep. But the point is it's still a good hedge. And mm -hmm. also there is one thing, though, I think could affect the gold market is that Prophet mentioned in his video yesterday because Sundays are for the last dragon. Don't forget, mm -hmm. guys, on YouTube profit Rolex in real estate. Bruh. He said that gold uh, watches are expected to increase in volume about 10 to 15% wow. from now going forward. That's what he's heard. Mm -hmm. It might not be so dramatic, but he's heard mm -hmm. that it, it is a possibility, uh, which wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the margins on these pieces are probably a lot bigger than steel, right? Yeah. Right. Plus you get that fight off factor with the gold. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. And exactly. you know, with the with the pandemic, every asset is up and inflated, but mm -hmm. the demand for Rolex is is organic. Right. It's really all those people just want Rolex. 
Toyota Mo. You would you would think a worldwide pandemic prices would go down. That didn't happen. We just needed to accept the reality we are in. Yeah, like a lot more people are stuck at home and uh, they're bored. They want to have something on their wrist. And you know, like you can't you can't really wear these Fikov gold Rolexes like w w when you when you have like normal life and you go out into society so much. You actually you're probably not going to wear the big Fikov or uh, Rolex as much as you would wear it at home. And now that you you know people are spending so much more time at home, you know, you can you could you could spend that time wearing the watch. So I think it's just you get a lot more pleasure out of it. Well, there's a lot of there's an argument also to be made. People are have been playing the stock market, have been doing very well. Some people are obviously buying on margin. Maybe yeah. they're 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 taking a loan, speculating on Rolex watches, and that's yeah. obviously a possibility. Um, how much stock do I put into it? Will it crash the Rolex market? I really doubt. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it may hurt it a little bit, like five percent, yeah, ten percent. But then people will just end up buying at the dip, right? That's the idea. Yeah. So price will stabilize around the you, same. You, you know, you know what else it is. It's also there's so many people out there right now trying to make money flipping watches, and they right. got so good at it. Is that when the timepiece gentleman is out, somebody else will will come in and fill in, and it's 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 all about like because because you can make money flipping the watches. There's a lot of incentive for people to come in and just buy up stock and try to flip it. So there's like. In this new reality, it's there's going to be shortage. I think going forward forever because every sure. time there's uh, an opening of supply, there'll be people investing all like all their money into stock just to stock up on the pieces. Yeah, and the, the other thing is, you know, people are people are saying, oh, people are hoarding and speculating and it's driving yeah. up prices. But yeah. at the same time, demand is continuing to go up, and it's not going to stop going up. There's just going to be more and more people getting into Rolex. Yeah, the and next, the demand you know. keeps going up because there's so many people spruiking it. Like and so many people, people know entering people know about Rolex yeah. than ever before. And and there's just a lot of people entering um, uh, the 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 class, like the upper middle class, um, and you know, and are newly able to afford it in mm -hmm. you know, all around the world in all different countries. And also, it's not even it's not also even afford. It's also confident to afford because I tell you, I tell you what, like before I even knew that there was a secondary market, I didn't want to buy a Rolex because I thought, oh, it's too expensive. But when you realize that, oh, there's a secondary market, you can sell this and actually get, you can like, if you bought it at retail, you can actually like sell it for more. Like what the hell? Mm. So once you start realizing that, then the confidence of you buying a, a watch like this could you know you're you're going to be a lot more confident like, oh why not get it you can enjoy it and then if you ever need the money you can get out of it that's incredible it's just there's nothing else out there like uh like like the watch so it was it was one of the biggest kind of things that encouraged me to buy my first rolex no i didn't i didn't want <laughs> I didn't want to get the the tag hoy. My wife convinced me, right, to get the the twin time. So, and I didn't know anything about it. We lost a lot of money. Oh well, technically we didn't lose any money, but because we gifted it away. But uh, if it only will crash if there is like an imbalance, if the kind of. I mean, it's still impossible to say, Tim. Like this idea that we're we're gonna know when a bubble comes and i mean what, what we're essentially trying to figure out is how to time the market which guys you're never going to do and if you do it's pure luck it's not because you're yeah. you're some genius with a crystal ball or because you know more than anybody else you just got lucky let's call it what it is you know what i yeah. mean yeah and i'm and, not and also ca calling it a bubble i don't think that's the right terminology because it's hmm. inherently uh it has inherent value to it so maybe it's an inflated price but i don't think bubble is the right word for it right I think uh, like you shouldn't be buying watches for investment. 
That's that's why I <laughs> I told Showcase. Oh, if you're gonna buy the panda, you just buy it to wear. Don't don't buy it to put it. Right, in the but watches watches and investments are nowadays irrev irrevocably linked, right? You can't talk about one without no the matter, other. Yeah, just, right. No, it is what it no is. matter how much I don't want it to be true, it right. is it is a fact. And uh, like I, but but like I think you're you're safest if you just get it. I'm not getting a two tone Explorer one because it's a good investment idea. If anything, it's moronic. Right. <laughs> Who would do that? It's idiots. Idiots only would do it like this. But Take I'm, your own I'm advice getting and get the sermon. Well, yeah, well, the sermon is like you're like the, probably the only reason you're saying get the sermon is because the sermon is more more valuable over Correct. retail, right? It's not because it's so much more superior. I already have a sub, right? Like it's a, it's like I'm getting a double up. I'm getting the same thing over again. Yeah, but your again. sub is the old model with the older movement, the older case. It's a Rolex. So it's new. It's new enough. You know it's what I mean? a Rolex. You get the man. Swiss coronet made dial. What? Just get a crown on the. Come on, man! You have, you have the forty, the one I have. It's per it's absolutely perfect. Come it's on. It's a perfect one. I actually wouldn't want to sell my forty or four my yeah. forty one, even though everybody thinks. JJ yeah. thinks I should keep my. Uh, AD uh, relationship and not sell the 41 oh if it comes. God. <laughs> Ten your wife. Oh my God. I think they were calling. Uh oh. <laughs> One second. My wife says, Where's the pizza? I think that was the pizza. Shit. Go go downstairs. <gasps> Maybe they, they, they let. Oh, shh. Wait, do they run off with your food, Tim? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's... Maybe they left it at the door. Check at the door. Check at the door. Because <laughs> somebody was calling I, and I. Oh, it's fucked. Check at the door. Maybe they left it at the door. Huh? And the Is it there? Yes? Oh, it's at the door. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Crisis You're averted, guys. You're We've safe. been there for 30 minutes. <laughs> you didn't hear a bell? Nobody knock? Show, show them the pizza. Give, give me. Give me. <laughs> what? Oh, oh sure. okay. <laughs> Anyway, she doesn't want to share. Okay, well, let her eat the pizza. Damn, what a... I thought, who's freaking calling me? <laughs> over and over. Apparently, they were trying to get into the the door downstairs. They have to. I have to buzz them in. But my super changed the number. So, and my number no longer says, this is the door calling. So, I'm like, what? what is this freaking number? I always forget. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. What were we talking about? Oh, showcase. Omega is no investment. You just buy and enjoy. Grand Seiko is my current squeeze. And I have lost money with a lot of money. You just don't, you don't even know how much money you lost on that showcase. <laughs> messing with them. Just messing with them. You know that. Paul M. Pizza drama. Yep. <laughs> oh, and Kevin Chang. Five dollars thinking of selling BLNR because the price is insane. Should I say BLNR and wait for the new 36 stainless steel explorer? Yes, no, I only want I, I one watch. It. Help no. me choose. Well, actually, you know what? I, 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 I marker, marker, I will agree with you. Yeah, BLNR is a better watch, it's a yeah. perfect one watch. The BLNR it's is perfect. perfect, it's perfect one watch. I, yeah, I gotta the, say. Yes. Explorer is a perfect one to watch too. Explorer is as well. No data sub. You, you shouldn't do it if you if you're not going to be fully happy with the watch though. For yeah. like for a couple thousand bucks, even if you make ten thousand dollars, is it really worth it? No, it's not really worth it. <laughs> not at all. Not even close. You have, you have rocks in your head. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't just save money. Um, uh, just to save money. You, know, you have to be as happy with the watch as the Batman. Mm. Money comes and goes. Don't get that that thirty six Explorer for a much. Don't sell a much much better watch for a thirty six mil Explorer. It doesn't make. Here's sense. what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. I've been I've always been wearing the Submariner as my daily because I thought the Submariner bezel it's a better function for everyday watch than the GMT. Right. It sounds so good. It sounds it sounds amazing. It's like a fidget fidget spinner. You can have a lot of fun just just spinning it. But I gotta say, I've been wearing the Explorer Two now for like a month, 
for a month because to I started wearing Explorer 2 after the new Explorers came out. Oh, look at that. Is that Let's see. It's the uh, sub, the sub no yeah, day. Uh, is that a 40? Yeah, yeah same as yours. 40. Yeah. yeah. Man, you guys got the right I one. Just I, have the day. I love the chunky lugs too, the chunky mm. lugs. Man, I I I'm a, oh, pizza. I finally yeah. figure out the how to do this on the camera. <laughs> pizza. Oh, that's a huge yeah. fancy. That's two slices, but I'm not gonna get it right now. What the hell? But so base I've way, been wearing way. the Explorer too, and I gotta say, I prefer the GMT function for for an everyday watch more. Weird, weird. I don't know why. Oh, Tim, like, you know, unless so you, unless he wants to get the extra cash, yeah, right. when he sells it, yeah. Other than it that, doesn't I don't make sense. Just, yeah, what do you need? Sense. What do you need the money for? Like seriously, guys, money comes and goes. It's all about the enjoyment, yeah. guys. Ain't no way you're gonna enjoy a thirty-six explorer more than a BLNR. And also, the here's kudos, I'll say I'll add another thing to it. I'll say and one more thing to that to the selling the BLNR. You know when the new 41, 41 watches came out, uh. I was really considering, do I sell my Submariner and get the new Submariner 41? Do I upgrade? And then I watched that Archie video where he was talking to plastic and, and there was like, oh, the differences are imperceptible. Um, and that kind of, it snapped me out because I realized how much time I already spent with the watch, all the memories, all the good times, the good, the bad, the ugly, the horrible, the the, the fights with the wife over pizza and stuff. So you shouldn't do, you shouldn't sell it to get a new watch because I I think look that that BLNR, it's your watch. You had it for such a long time. Just keep it. You know, it's your watch. Get the get the new Explorer thirty six mil in addition to it. Add it. It's a perfect two two meal combo hunger meal. buster. Yeah, because it's like a sub. You can have a sub no date and the B and the BLNR. Great combo. Or you can get you can go the Explorer one, which I think may be even a better combo. Explorer one thirty six mil, yeah. a smaller watch, more comfortable, more lighter on the wrist when you want to go ultra ultra light. Get it. You can dress in sports. Yeah. By the way, Tim, showcase put out a nice funny comment in the chat. He said, How much is Super Chat to see your wife feed you pizza? <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. I want to see that happen. Name the price, Tim. Ask her. <laughs> Name the price. I want to see it happen. Was like, you got a super chat. Yeah. Let me do Toyota two dollars. Tim, which Rolex is selling for three times right now? The panda. The no, panda. the panda is not selling. The OP. No, no, the panda is not selling for three times. Let me check how much. Yes, it is. No, it's yeah, it is. Not Triple quite. Is not quite. Almost, no. almost. Exactly, it's not. It, it, it is over here though. Uh, right in Canada, it is also. You know, yes. there some of them are listed for thirty-six thousand here in North America, but when I look at actual sales, it's more like thirty. Mm -hmm. So when I look at the Chrono Twenty-Four, the Chrono Twenty-Four, okay. <laughs> uh the 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 triangle the green triangle says 155 percent so that's not triple 100 percent is double so it's like two and a half but and that's you have to take off like 20 percent because it's corona 24 you lose a lot of money in the in the thing so what is it is it the turquoise op yeah it is yeah those colored ops are Tur going for insane premiums It makes no sense. It's completely Look crazy. Look uh, they, they want to super chat, man. You giving me like a bite of pizza. No, no. You have to eat the whole pizza with the her whole, feeding. Oh, the, the whole, whole slice? <laughs> the whole just, slice. I can't oh, eat the, the whole slice. No, I wonder, no. One bite. I wonder one bite. Wipe, wipe no, you have to give me one bite. Just give me one bite of your pizza. Just, just give me one bite. What? <laughs> She looks really angry and disappointed that I'm doing this stuff for money. <laughs> yeah. I gotta tell you, it's embarrassing, guys. Come on, come on. I'll take Calvin a bite Chung. of pizza for five bucks. Calvin <laughs> Chung, take take Toyota Mo's advice. He has a turquoise OP. He's not selling it for triple over retail. Wow. If anything, that's a crazy price, and he probably still wouldn't sell Sung it. Me. 
Tiffany Dial, uh, Oyster Perpetual sells for three times. Three times. Tim, wow. get the Tiffany OP. Get the Tiffany, Tiffany OP, OP at retail. It's genius. 36, though, right? 36. No. <laughs> 41? 41. Of course. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Wait, how much? Or get the 36 so that you and your wife can wear it. Technically, instead of getting a two tone, I can get the turquoise OP. And, and and the two tone. And the yeah. No, I can't get the two tone. Oh, and the steel explorer. Stay in the steel. That's right. Yeah. And the um thirty six turquoise you even goes this? I think double. Ooh, wait, you're gonna be banned. You just have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's time her out, guys. No profanity yeah. in the chat. Time yeah, her out. Nasty <laughs> and vicious. <laughs> it's the kind of stuff I have to deal with, guys. You know what I mean? It's not easy. It's not easy. Tim, that I is paid such a... for the pizza. What the? Oh, he said she rubs it in his face, as in like a pie in the face. Oh, she do that for free. You don't have the super chat. Yeah, that's uh, there's no super chat. <laughs> no super She'll chat do it by it. the end of the show. Just right. you just have to wait long enough. Uh, DC in LV. I think it's uh, because can you get them from the AD for not crazy money and flip them for stupid money? Much bigger investment to get your hands on Panda. And fl Panda is impossible to get to flip. That's the that's the ridiculous thing. Some people get so lucky. Like I, I was talking to some other people who who have who are really wealthy, and they can't get it. It's really it's just showcase watches. Prime example of how Rolex marketing gets into our brains. That's right. They turn the OP range, the dogs, into super hype models by adding a little color. Well, not not a little color. Let's be honest. Right. It's a they, lot. They've never of color. really done this, have they? The color just uh, pops. They, they have, but it was up. always in the tr traditional 36 mil mm. size, right? When they yeah. did it in the past, there was never a mm. modern 41, 40 plus size. Guys, yeah. make and, sure and to please upvote. True. Mm, Nothing really steel. Helps. DJC, Tim, uh, keeping the pizza eating for his new OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Media, Tim, you should schedule a group hike. And watch talk. Yes, all the viewers and participants must hike as well. <laughs> Let's end the pandemic with boosting our health. Woo! That's a good idea. That's a good idea. A meetup. For, oh, by the way, Cooler Feet, where are you from? Vancouver, Canada. Vanco oh, Vancouver. Okay. I'm, I'm probably going to go. We're going to do uh, me, you, Marco, Bear. We'll go and hike one of those mountains over there, right, Marco? Bear's not hiking. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not there. that bear. An actual black there. bear. <laughs> yeah, Tim, we are hikers paradise over here. Oh, I know. It's just know. surrounded by mountains. It's unbelievable. I have. I'm. I'm gonna go to Canada. I'm gonna go to Canada to do some of those hikes. After the last time you guys showed me the the images of uh, like some of those hiking locations, that Crystal Lake, <gasps> my mind was blown away. I, I was scared to go to Canada because I don't have anybody to help me with like logistics, like how to get to the trail, get off the trail. You know, sometimes it's problematic. But now I think I think it's possible to do. Tim, say the versions of swearing are not allowed. <laughs> Teremo, I'll trade the OP for Panda. That would be the only thing I do it for. Ooh. Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue. Man, if they discontinue any of those colors, it's gonna be crazy. Mm. Uh, showcase. Uh, this stream needs livening it up. Tim's wife, please, 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 please. We need pizza slap. <gasps> Matt Porter, a well-known gray secondary uh, market dealer in Sydney, Australia, has a Tiffany OP for sale for 21k Aussie money. Good luck. Jeez. You know, you know what's funny? This OPs, it really shows how much just changing the color of a product will sell it. Like you see it in iPhones, you see it in everything. Oh yeah. And it costs oh, yeah. nothing for them. Wow. Well, I mean, imagine, imagine an OP costs 
more than a sub. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It does. <laughs> it, it does. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's crazy. It's so crazy, right? That's the power of marketing, guys. And that's why, that's why, that's why, guys, you will see this Ming thing. <laughs> just wait, just just wait, and you'll see. Marco will trade his for Porsche. I'll probably go for Carrera or something. I don't know for <laughs> Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's all in the marketing. Forget about the movements, all that kind of stuff. It helps. It helps. But marketing, you have to know how to how to do marketing. They discontinued the P turquoise. It would, <laughs> I would want a platona. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, I don't think they're gonna discontinue anytime soon. So <laughs> released. Did you guys? Yeah. Uh, did you guys see they sneakily discontinued one of the uh, platinum day day dials? Oh yes, they cleaned it up. Th that's right. Actually, let's uh, let me bring it up here, um, because I was talking to the AD and he had the new. He said, "Oh, this is the new platinum day date," and I thought, "Wait, this is the new one?" And he said, "Yeah, they just um, they oh, they just sounds like a date just. They just uh, <laughs> the green one. Wait, where's that? Right there. There you go. Uh, that they, they refined the way." It wasn't this one. It was just a. I know that the new one is very clean. Where they said the old one had some extra markings somewhere. They took off. This is the new one. It replaced. Right. The oh. the 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 old one. If you go back to that one, the blue with the Romans. Yeah. The old one, the Romans weren't white. They were they like blue. darker blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah. They were and blue. the hands were blue. No, just yeah. The hands. The hand. hands were blue. Yeah. yeah, now just the second hand is blue. Yep, yep. They cleaned it up. They cleaned it up. I think it looks it looks classier now. Uh, but it also, it probably saves them a lot of money. Like that was bluing all of the that stuff was probably so hard to do. Whereas here, they can just reuse the on that the, that the blue ones. Those are gonna be rare, by the way. Who? DCN will be 5,900 a piece. So insane. Mr. Captain O'Leary, how's it going? What no, happened? Just, just <laughs> I had Where have to, you uh, disappeared? I had to step away. Um, mm. The work day is still going for some, uh, for some odd reason. Oh my god. It's not easy to juggle. You know what I mean? It's, it's, <laughs> guys, guys, focus on work first, guys. Come on. No way. Yeah, yeah, Marco. Yeah. Take take it take a lesson from uh take a page out of your book. You say, how's your studying going? So what are we yeah, doing so here with the uh the blue? Well you got the baby, the Tiffany blue. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, we're looking at it because they revamped uh this Rolex revamped this piece. Um, the this is the new kind of configuration, almost imperceptible. But the old version had all blued Roman numerals and blued hands. Mm -hmm. Now it's just the second hand that's blued. Uh, you see that? It's just I like all... it. Yeah, I like the I like this. I like it this way. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's classier. I know. Like I know, blue is looks like it's more complicated to make, but uh, I, it, it... I think. This looks better, I think, too, because yeah. it matches the material. It matches the platinum. It's just every the whole piece comes together, very gracefully. Yeah, it's, it's, a, no it's a beautiful piece. I mean, it's oh. like a it's like a boat yachting piece Jeez. in this the summer. Yeah. Unbelievable. You, you know, it's heavy when it's price on request. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think oh. it's what like eighty, ninety. Um, I think the standard price for platinum pieces is like seventy four thousand. Um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I know the Daytona, the the the, the Platona was seventy four thousand. So it's around that price range. Expensive. Yeah, and they're going over, over yeah. retail. Oh yeah. You know, 
it's hard to say it's a stealthy piece because of the baby blue dial, I guess, which get it garners some. It's going to garner some attraction. Oh yeah. But but the platinum, no one's going to think that's no one other than you know this group and folks watching who know it's a platinum. Yeah. Day date is going to have any idea what that piece is worth. Well, the, here's the, the crazy thing, right? So Rolex reserves this baby ice blue dial for platinum only pieces. Is ice blue, right? So if you do have this piece and there's another Rolex collector and he sees an ice blue, he mm -hmm. will know, oh, that's the platinum. But damn, you put the green dial, that is literally looks exactly like the white gold with green dial. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no difference between this no. and the other. No, no. This one has a smooth bezel. Ah. The other one doesn't have smooth bezel? bezel? No, I think they're all fluted. Let's check. It's possible. It's possible. I think so. I think it's possible. Hey, you know what would be cool? You have the OP Tiffany. You have that, mm -hmm. and you have the Daytona oh. Tiffany oh, you're Blue right, as you're well. Right. Yeah. Wow. So, so the platinum, okay. it's so super stealth because it's a yeah. smooth bezel. Too. And even diamonds are different because you look at the. So, for example, I was thinking, uh, what if the what if you have a diamond bezel? So here, the diamonds are circular, whereas you go on the platinum, and they're yeah. square bigger diamonds wow. bigger diamonds yeah and b but, bigger but, yeah. diamonds more money hmm. 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 interesting interesting you're right and oh, actually like i prefer the smooth bezel the smooth bezel is so amazing oh okay 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 wow but seriously like who like that <laughs> and and this piece is heavy you you know oh, yeah. pick it up man it's like double double the steel mm. Frank Gerard, 74k. How how do these compete with Paddock Chronos so well? Um, Paddock Chronos, talking about the like 5170, 5172. Oh, you have the bracelet here. Yeah, I mean you got yeah, it's, 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 an, it, it's an acquired taste. I mean it's 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 a taste thing, right? It's a uh, they're but they're totally different, different watches, guys. Also totally. exclusivity. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at Paddock Chronos last night because yeah. guys, uh, we're talking that, a dress watch, a right. dress chrono versus something that is a sports dress. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what? Like you can't compare the two. They're yeah. just two different genres. Mm. Yeah, they're only comparable in price, but nothing Correct. else really. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw an old video, uh, an old uh, YouTube uh, video of of a Roman sheriff. About mm -hmm. a year, about a year ago, maybe maybe less, maybe six months, yeah. and he pulled out on his desk mostly Patek. Then he had one or two, maybe a Vacheron and another mm -hmm. watch, all dress pieces, chronographs, uh, mostly chronographs. I think he had um, uh, he had I don't know if he had a grand complication um, mm -hmm. or or just complications pieces. Uh, yeah. And he was talking about the prices and the discount of each of those pieces was tremendous. Like, yeah, a seventy thousand retail would be a thirty-five thousand dollar piece. It does depend, but it was almost across the board, Marco. Not it on was, paddock. Not on paddock crumbs. They're not selling. There, food. there was some. There was some. I'm telling you, I could send you the video, but no, even paddock. Yeah, please send, yeah. Please send me the. Please I will. send me the video. I'd love I to mean, know which paddock chronograph is fifty like percent off. <laughs> From retail, from when they were first came what, out. From what about old? Prices. Yeah, what about old ones? And they were old. Yes, I will tell. A cooler fiend is that cooler okay, fiend? Can the barely see the screen. Yeah. They looked. Uh, Look, like, we're not talking beef, fifty-one seventy beefy. or probably not. We're not talking no. right. Not fifty-one seventy. Not fifty seventy. Not the, none of the the actual. Those are collection. yeah. Those are seventy k now on Chrono. So yeah, he's he's talking about select pieces, but he's just said he pulled a bunch from his safe. And he said, here's what you can get. His point was, you're chasing a steel sports that might be yeah. two times retail, yeah. where you can get yourself in to a complicated paddock or better or, or a right. VC. That's his point. Mm. You made that point as well. The dress, the dress market, the dress watch market has, has taken a, you it's know, it's, it's collapsed. It's yeah. dying. <laughs> it's over. Nobody wants dre dainty dress watches anymore, guys. Sorry. You know, I for the <laughs> longest time I didn't understand 
the whole point of getting like a steel sub, like getting a full gold sub uh, over a steel sub. Because essentially, this is the same same two watches, right? The only difference is like the material. Like I understand why Paddock, like annual, like like a like a perpetual calendar, why a perpetual calendar is worth more than the annual calendar it's a more complicated watch right but here the only difference is like the material which these watches are made out of and it's not like the price of that material of gold like you're not getting that much gold to justify such an incre crazy increase in price but you know like 36,000 versus steel at eight thousand, right? It's the same watch, right? It's not like it's not like this Submariner in gold is more water resistant, so it has some additional functions mm -hmm. over the steel piece. And but these pieces are so limited, and for the longest, like because Rolex doesn't, uh, Rolex doesn't really, they don't disclose how many how many of these pieces they have, how many they make relationship to each other and i think and a lot of people like their market that, that was the fault of their marketing people didn't understand why these are special and now that they're able to kind of rejigger the market to to the point where they resell used for as much money as new now i think a lot a lot more people have more confidence in, in this and they're trying to understand they're, they're starting to understand wait a minute there's a the, the reason this watch is two-tone is because rolex is celebrating the steel piece and the gold the full gold they're they're special because of how significant the submariner is in the rolex range but that wasn't clear for the longest time so yeah that's my take. Well, I mean, gold is a softer metal, uh, obviously, yeah. right? So it's yep. not, it's not, it, you're right. It's not, it's, it's not like for the explore. same purpose. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not a tool watch that you can bang yeah. around and I'll, oh, I'm going to go mm. diving today and, you know, go down 200 meters with yeah. my, uh, with my gold piece. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's a different purpose. It's a celebration it's of, of it's a celebration of a Submariner. It's a celebration of the history of what Submariner has achieved as a watch in steel i'll tell you from my limited experience with the two-tone i'm noticing that the scratches in the gold which is basically just the center um hmm. the center links they Look scratch uh, they, they scratch frank gerard i can't wrap my head around 13k retail daytona with the same movement exactly same movement costing 74k in platinum case and bracelet no hand finishing like paddock yep i mean the whole the the reason they made it out of platinum because of how important the the daytona is like submariner hasn't reached that infamy like daytona is like rolex's most celebrated watch like daytona just beats all of their watches of how important it is to the rolex brand i think once submariner catches up to to that level they'll make a submariner out of platinum well the only two models in platinum is the daytona and the day days correct yeah, yeah. the so, two the most legendary two rolexes yeah i think i think that might stay like that forever because yeah. if you think about it it's like the top sports model and the top classic model no, no. I think, I think they'll they'll do it once. I, I, they might have some kind of, I don't know how they judge it, but if there if there was some kind of a way to uh, kind of rank how important a watch is, like they probably have something internal internally that they do some kind of internal ranking uh, where you know where, where they see how maybe how desirable it is uh, or, or whatever. I don't know. But once they, I think once they feel like 
this watch has reached a certain status, then they'll make it out of platinum to say like, this is, we we wanted, we wanted a Submariner to have this kind of fame. Don't make it out of platinum. It's like when when they did uh, Explore One in Two Tone. You know, just to celebrate the achievement, like Explore One. It actually over the past like ten. If you if you look at over the past ten years, how more significant it became. Right, that history has really, I think, resonated with a lot of people, where it wasn't so cool. Right, like 1016, everybody wants the 1016. They lost their freaking mind over 1016. Right, people will chop off two arms <laughs> to get a text to 1016. Sure, sure. <laughs> no, but think about it. 1016 wasn't such a crazy watch 20 years ago. I think. Maybe even 30 years ago. But I think Explorer 1 has really, really became cool. And I think that's the Rolex way to celebrate. Like, it's not the the best Rolex watch they have. But I think it achieved something. And Rolex said, okay, now is time to make it two-tone. Look, you can disagree. This is just my opinion. This is how I see it. Same thing with, with the same reason I think they did it with the Sea Dweller. They saw something like, oh, now is the time. They just got my take, my take on this. Let's see. Yeah, and I forget who said it. Oh, Frank saying he can't wrap his head around it. Yeah, like mm. how much How much platinum is in the watch? 12 grand, 15 grand? I don't know. The rest is just premium. Right. It's the premium. But it's also limited supply. Um how many of these watches are they making? There's also great marketing behind it. Demand yeah. is crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to yeah. pay that marketing yeah. budget somehow. Exactly. And it's I mean, like, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. The, should a 50, uh, 5980 or 57, tw uh, 12 cost what it costs at retail? Probably not. You know you know the how, crazy how expensive thing. is steel for and, to finish and make? You know what I mean? Even if it is hand finished. And, you and, know, you, you should be happy paying the marketing. Um, the marketing upcharge in Rolex because that marketing is keeping the value in your piece. Exactly. And you know, like when you look like this piece, the 74K Platona, the, the, the <laughs> price tag is literally to kind of make it super exclusive to people who have really made it in life. Like if you can afford this, it's not, this watch is not expensive because it's difficult to make or it's like so there's so much craftsmanship that goes into it versus the just the regular steel daytona it's because it's like well if you have if you earn so much money that you can afford it that's just like your way of you know like mm -hmm. your way of showing your wealth in a way like th this is why it's expensive because other people can't afford it. It's just it's yeah. for it's for rich people. It's for rich people to show that listen. This is uh, I can I can buy this. Like I I I see actually a lot of like whenever there's some kind of a like big event and I, I I don't know like I was watching some concert and the guy who was like singing he was wearing a platona. He's like a mega star, of course. That's who buys it. The people who have unlimited income yeah that's Some always point. been that's always been a core aspect of luxury goods mm. one of the aspects of why they're desirable mm. and it's genius it's genius like we're just making expensive for expensive sake there's nothing expensive about like there's something expensive about it. it's made out of platinum but it's more ex even even more crazy expensive because we just want the people who have a lot of money to be able to afford it. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Frank Gerard, I can't understand uh, paddock prices because several hundred... Uh, yes, yes. I can understand paddock prices because several hundred man hours of old Swiss men have gone in, into finishing the watch. There is a genuine uh, sunk value in the watch. Yes, yes. That's the big difference. That's the big... That's the huge difference. But you can actually flip those those things uh, uh, kind of around. You can say, 
like you can say Rolex is actually making these pieces, right? Like think about this. Reverse this. Rolex is actually making platinum Daytonas. And they're making steel ones just so that uh, not so wealthy people can buy them. This is just their saying like, thank you here. You can buy these at cheaper price, right? Like, it, because we're looking at the steel pieces as, the, as their main watches, right? We judge everything higher, right? It, but if you flip it, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Tim, do you know uh, Veblen good? What is that? It's an uh, economics term for when you make a product, you take the same product. Mm hmm. And if you increase the price, typically you expect uh, less demand. But a Veblen good, you increase the price and the demand increases because of the yes. perceived value of it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, I, I was watching some video where like a watch dealer was talking about John Mayer at Daytona's. He said that he posted uh, a John Mayer for like thirty-five thousand. It, w it it wasn't selling, and he posted it at like thirty-eight, and then he started getting calls. So weird. Yeah. Oh, and Ryan Singer, ten dollars, just picked up a discontinued sub one one six six one nine LB Smurf. Hey, congrats, Ooh. Ryan! Jeez, wow, congrats! I thought he passed up yeah. on this. He had passed up on this and gave it to his friend, if I'm not mistaken, and I just ended up buying it. Wow. Hey, man. The key Beautiful. question. Flat or sunburst? That's sunburst. a good question. Wow. Oh my god. This piece is better than the new black dial blue bezel. The new black dial with the uh, with the oh, the, blue with the blue blue yeah. the blueberry. I think Smurf is much better. Uh I think it depends because you know the black dial. It's pretty universal. You know, I've seen one of these in the wild. Uh, kind of a guy, a guy had it, and man, it looks so gorgeous. This is like a Hulk. We're comparing a Hulk, like this is a Hulk equivalent, right? To the to the sub, whereas uh, like the Hulk has got the green and the green, right? And Captain, you have the Hulk with the green and the green. Yes, and then like a sermit, which is just a black bezel with a black dial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, oh. because the blue on the uh, blueberry, yeah, is a, a blue I've never seen. You know, they don't do that's it's the a different, only yeah. sub that they do that blue in. So, yep. yeah, right there, the exclusivity and oh, I want to have that. Mm. Uh, but this is beautiful. There's no question it's about. It. I mean, to me, because you are getting a blue dial. You yeah. Know, a different blue yeah. and a blue bezel. Yeah, it really says Very special. Yeah, th this is this is white gold. Everyone yeah. knows it. Who know who knows the piece? Um, whereas mm. the the black one, and I guess you probably couldn't just pop on a blueberry bezel on a steel, or maybe you could. At least aftermarket. You can, yeah, you, <laughs> aftermarket you can do it easily. Of course. I don't know why you would, but just a know. bike with people. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Eric was doing to his uh, sermon, or he created, a, he made his own sermon before the sermon. Oh, he says, "Thanks." No, I passed on the new one. So wait a minute, what happened? Did he get right. the? Is it the sunburst or the flat? No, I think only one said it was only one dollar, right? Yeah. What? There's only one dollar. There is no. Sunburst. That's only one dollar. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, it's a, there's it's no. A it's a flat. There's, there's no sunburst right. version. I don't no. think so. No, only no, on the two tone yeah. bluesy. Yeah, flat. yeah, it's flat. But oh, it's... that's bluesy with two. two mm -hmm. versions. Yes, yep. bluesy has both. Bluesy has a flat and the sunburst. Yeah, but you know, like I understand uh, why uh, Rolex made the new uh, white gold uh, Submariner with the black dial. Because it makes it more like, kind of more stealthy, more more it goes with more outfits. Whereas this is like a blue on blue, it's very specific. Like it will not go with certain outfits. Whereas just a little bit of that dark and the the blue that they put on the new one is very dark blue. It's almost black in certain shades. But this is blue blue. 
it and it even amplifies like because of this blue even the the white gold looks bluish like when you look at it it's just it messes with your with how you perceive the watch so like ah this watch is actually very very beautiful mm -hmm. like the blue color brings out the blue in the steel yeah or it's, sorry in the gold yeah in the in the yeah exactly exactly because of the reflections like everything kind of reflects all, yeah. uh, over each other and also as you look at the watch you can almost see like almost more blue in the white gold uh bec like because it's just like by con uh when, when colors are next to each other and the steel is very reflective yeah and it's, it's got the polished center links yeah the same effect in that new gold black bay <laughs> except the gold looks green oh yeah and then yeah well in the black bay 58 they did a blue and blue yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Look. Oh, my God. It's, gorgeous. it's unbelievable, guys. Yo. Oh. It's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I got to see this in person. Like, when was it? A couple of years ago. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I, I had it on my wrist. I passed on one. When I got the oh, home. you're so expensive. Yeah. Like at the at yeah. the moment, you know, at, the at moment, that time, I didn't know anything. See, that was two years ago. Had it been now, yeah. with you know, Jeez. after being on your show, Tim, and and yeah, and really getting into it, I would have, it you know, it's it's uh, definitely would have been an easier decision. You know, uh, Stephen, like when I, like when I was picking up my Submariner, right? They offered me a Hulk, and they offered me a a, a Batman. And I went with the, just the black Submariner, uh, but because green is just it's so specific. Yeah. It's just it, it, I don't wear it that often. So yeah, you know, I mean, the very Batman specific, right? Yeah, you, you can't wear it with everything. I. But if there was a blue steel Submariner, no, because I can't afford white gold. Let's just let's be clear here. <laughs> I wouldn't buy this watch because I can't I can't buy it. But yeah, if they, if, if I could get the blue, I would get the blue one, of course. It's so By cool. By the way, Tim. Yes. AC3 oh. stream is starting in six minutes. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Let's wrap this baby up. Congrats to you, Ryan, man. What an unbelievable watch. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. Why can't I have that? What do I got to do that? Where's Burbank Heart when the you Smurf. need it? Gotta have a couple Where's more birthdays, Marco. A couple more Where's birthdays. Where's Burbank Heart when you need him with a sad word? I would have sex with two men for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, thank you guys. Thank you everybody for helping me out with the show. Thank you, Cooler Fiend, Marco, Casey, Steven. Uh, thank you, everybody, in the chat room. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to gonna go eat my pizza finally. It's been sitting here smelling so fine. Mm, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. And thank you, everybody, who chatted. And thank you for the super chats and for the memberships. Check out the Discord. Email me if you're already a member. I'll, I'll add you to the Discord. Get on the Discord, guys. It's amazing. And I'll see you on the Archie.